Now, as I promised, uh, let me take another caller or two, you know, and then we'll go to the... Should I play it now? Let me let me tell you. Okay, here's what we're going to play for you. This was recorded in 94 in Command Productions in Sausalito, as I told you. I had reached a hiatus in my life. I was 50 years old. Most men retire, and they say enough is enough. I had hit a stone wall in my career, and I knew... Let me just stop right there. I knew there was more waiting for me, okay? I want you to hear what I played, and then I want you to be a judge. Tell me if I've changed at all. Listen. And now, direct from the towers above Manhattan, it's the Michael Savage Show. To the right of Rush and to the left of God, and now, Michael Savage. I'm glad I can be with you seven nights a week because these, thing, these stories are just not going away. I mean, every day, in every way, we're getting assaulted. Look at these questions before us today. Look at the questions before us. You know, they say that I'm to the right of Rush and to the left of God. I really don't think that that's funny. I really don't think that's funny at all. Do immigrants carry diseases? Are lawyers really humans? Is white bread safe to eat? How come women with mustaches, with peace and love and turtle-saving bumper stickers, are the most likely to cut you off on the highway? Is Bill... No, Nazis, skinheads, KKK, don't call me. Crawl back into your bunkers. You've given true conservatives a bad name because you permit the sick leftists to paint all conservatives with a fascist brush. Okay? Don't call me. Uh, do Labor Secretary Reich's feet touch the ground when he's seated on talk shows? I don't know. But these are some of the questions that I think we have to answer here because these questions are very much like the legislation before the 103rd Congress. Look at the bills that are facing our country right now. Abortion rights, appropriations, budget, campaign finance, congressional reform, crime, family and medical leave, the Hatch Act, the Health Care Act, the lobbying, voter registration, national service, school improvement, trade and welfare reform. These are the major bills in our Congress right now. So we have a lot to talk about. You know, that's why I'm here every night for you. You know what the Hatch Act is? I bet you don't even know what that is. It's a House-passed bill that would allow employees to hold political office and work on campaigns. Would you imagine that? In other words, you could hold an office and work on a campaign. In other words, you could, instead of doing the job for the American people, you can do a job for the person you're working for. That's really terrific. Well, what would you do with the NAFTA agreement? Would you pass it? How come the conservatives are for NAFTA and the Democrats seem to be like for and against it? I mean, NAFTA was basically a Republican-initiated a uh, concept. Now Clinton is for it. Barbara Box of the California Senate is against it. What exactly is NAFTA? Are we going to lose jobs to Mexico? I I'd like you to tell me what you think NAFTA is and how you're going to be affected. Is it only low-rate jobs, high-ranking high jobs, or what? First caller, you're on with Michael Savage. What's your question? Hi, thank you for taking my call. Well, I'll tell you, I'm enraged and incensed about the... Um about lawyers. Lawyers? Uh, yeah. You're the fourth caller in a row to say something negative about a lawyer. I wonder why. It just seems to me that, um, that the, the way it stands in this country, I mean, I believe in democracy, and I grew up believing that You do? Innocent. Have you seen a psychiatrist recently? <laughs> Let me ask you a question. Way. Quick question? Yeah. Have you seen a lawyer recently? I mean, in person? Dealt with one? Well, the last time I was at a cocktail party, I asked him if he was AC or DC. AC or DC? Ambulance chaser or divorce chaser. I see. Very funny. I like that one. You know what all lawyers remind me of? They remind me of people who come out of a bathroom and they shake your hand while their own hand is still wet. That's what they remind me of. It and you don't know what's on their hand. You don't know whether they, like, didn't wipe or, uh, you know, they whatever. I don't know. I don't understand these They're people. filthy. That's why. Feel dirty. Well, okay. let's cut this out. You know, this isn't fair. I did pick up a recent issue of the American Bar Association magazine. It was a special issue devoted to new graduates. Yes. And so help me God, this was a, a, a an ad. You could write away for this poster to put on your wall. Oh. I didn't know if it was serious or not. Here's what it said. For new law graduates, here's, here's exactly what the poster said. Remember, your adversary is your friend because only your adversary can give you billable hours. Oh God, and your client is your enemy because only your client will try to stop you from gaining billable hours. 
that is where we are at. Anyway, <laughs> thank you very much for calling, <laughs> and uh, listening. keep listening to Michael Savage. I By the way, listening. what you're calling from San Rafael, Mexico, right? <laughs> I wish I was in San Rafael, Mexico. Well, you're reaching me here high atop the tower of the Empire State Building in New York City, and I really want you to keep those calls coming in because Michael Savage needs you. Well, you've heard it. That was history in the making. That set off a shockwave uh, throughout the radio landscape. I sent that demo tape to, uh, I don't know, I don't know how many, 280 stations, 200. And uh, or a lot of five stations wanted me to go on the air. I remember one was in Boston. I honestly don't remember what, where the others were. And one was in my backyard, and that's how it all started. That's absolutely what happened. No one gave it to me. No one gave it to me. I had a struggle for it as I have to struggle every day as a fish has to struggle upstream. As the pelicans I watch on San Francisco Bay have to hunt for their food every morning. As the seals have to hunt for their food every morning. As the uh, seagulls have to hunt for their food every day. It seems everybody understands this except the 50% of Americans who don't pay any taxes and want a nice, easy, free ride on your behind. I'll be right back. Savage.